Good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, <clears throat> I went to bed early last night, and then I woke up. Well, I got woke up because of Buddy and <sighs> Mom, and I swear I'm going to kill me a dog. But I was up. After I went to sleep, I had woke up, and I was up. And finally end up falling asleep after four o'clock this morning. I don't I just can't get comfortable. I know I'm losing more weight and that's why I can't get comfortable. Even 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 how I do the pillows, I can't get comfortable. But um yesterday we went and looked at three houses. Um one house in particular and I mean, I, and I'm gonna say this, but I don't mean it in a bad way. Only some of us would dream to live in a house like this. Not in, well, I mean, maybe my house, your house, whatever. But the house, well, the first house we went and looked at was awesome. If you're anything like, you know, me or my mom, you know. Almost that country-like setting. I actually would say, yeah, a country-like setting. Um, Three-bedroom. I've always wanted to live in a house from 1955. I like the year 1955. I like the 50s. Uh, my mom was born in 1955. This house was built in 1956. And it had a lot of the original features. Even down to the original hardwood floor huge I mean literally huge picture window um it had pine trees and a huge magnolia tree in the front yard um everything if you could pick up the lot in the house and move it off this particular street which the, in an area is not bad at all I mean it could even you know that would made it even more breathtaking I guess you would say um, I had called before we left, <clears throat> but I just figured we'd fuck it, you know, we'd just go and see the house anyway. Um, we went and looked in the windows, and it was just my mom sitting there thinking, oh, this, this. And I'm looking at the yard saying I could do this, this, and this, and beautiful. So I walked out just to walk on the street itself. I was really nervous, so obviously the kids wouldn't be allowed to go past a certain tree point, but... um. <clears throat> Even an oversized, oversized two-car garage, a 1956 house built. You know, so, I mean, literally everything, it was perfect. $900 a month. That would save me roughly $600 a month. And I'm thinking, you know, to ching there's trip money. So I called. I didn't get an answer <clears throat> again. So I figured, okay, let me get in the truck and I'll try calling again. And I called again. And this time I pushed zero. I got a hold of somebody. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That house has been rented. Do what? Yes, it was rented today. The people signed the lease today. And um, they move in next week. I said, I'll give you $1,000 a month. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We can't do that. I said, well, do you have another house like this um, for rent? And she said, well, we do have one over in Lawrence. I said, no, that's okay. I don't want to live in the ghetto. And I hung up on her. Mom's stomach was upset. I was heartbroken. I'm like, mother fuck. Why couldn't this house been listed yesterday? Because we could have been moving in today, you know? <clears throat> But literally, it was not on there at all in no, in no time, and someone already found it. So I told Mom, I said, next week we're going to drive by there, and we're going to see who moved into our house, you know. Um, and then literally, uh, I'm going to say literally, behind that house um, is a, a really, really upper class, older people um, neighborhood. And we found a house. Another one. Um, this one here, same thing. Huge front yard, big, beautiful tree. Um, lovely landscaping. Perfect. 
and I'm thinking the house was made in the 1960s. Um, only a, I don't know reason why I say that. It could be in the 50s also. But the reason why I say 60s is there's a piece of concrete with a, or it used to be a pole in it. And there's a handprint and it says 1971 on it. Now, <clears throat> if you're into the country kind of setting and the, the peaceful, the quietness, the... You know, you got these certain areas all over the world. You're all over the United States that you're driving and you got the old people out there. You know, you got the old ladies with the knee pads and the, the thing out there working in the flowers. And, you know, the older man's cutting the grass. And just these people took care of their homes and the whole area. This home was just as breathtaking as the one we just seen. And, I mean, it was beautiful, perfect. Well, um, it's three bedroom, one and a half bath. Um, you literally drive off the street into the driveway. The driveway, you go down, you go around the house into literally the garage could be a four car garage. I mean, I mean, they only have the two openings, but the size of this garage literally would be a four car garage under the house. Um, I already thinking, damn, there's me a room in my office and, you know, and just everything. It had a, a porch with a porch swing out the back of the house. It was almost like, um, a, a, it's a walkout basement, basically. Um, yard, you only had about eight foot of a yard. And then you had a creek that ran through the backyard. Trees galore. Everything is perfect, right? Well... It's all gas, not electric. And yeah, granted, two of the rooms would work for Adriana and Jameson, but the master bedroom, there is no master bedroom. My mom has a queen size bed. Basically, you could get a queen size bed and two nightstands in the master bedroom, and that's it. Um, Salem, I'm vlogging here, you nasty bastard. So that's like the, really the downside is the master bathroom or master bedroom is it's just there's really no master bedroom. As far as the main bathroom, you know, with the shower and everything, I'm still a big guy, you know. I kind of got to turn sideways a little bit to get down the hallway and to go to the doorway, um, which really sucks dick because... Every, everywhere else in the house, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. I'm even fine to walk down the basement. Um, and the way it's set up, literally, you know, if you go through the front door, um, huge front room, walk through the doorway there, um, straight across is the kitchen, nice kitchen, and uh, an old chandelier um, kitchen, country type. Um, the, the oven is into the wall. The, it's the, the the countertop has this uh, stove, um, double wide refrigerator with the freezer at the bottom. Perfect, just perfect. I don't care too much for the vinyl. The vinyl would need to be replaced, but you know it's just the point. And I'm like, okay, well, where's the half bath? The half bath is in the kitchen. To me, that's not kosher. I mean, it's like, okay, you know, I don't really want to be taking a shit in the kitchen, literally. But you open it up, and it's a closet. And it looks like it shouldn't be a half bath. It looks like it should be a pantry. Um, I couldn't use that bathroom. I mean, you know, I'm so big. But I couldn't... I'm sorry, I heard, thought I heard squirting tires. But um, I couldn't use the half bath. I got the toilet in there and the sink. Um... I'm going to switch arms because I'm getting a cramp because I know I've been talking too long. <laughs> but um, in the one bedroom, they all had built-in closets. The one main, the first bedroom had built-in closet on both sides, like wardrobe on both sides. And the middle was a desk, you know, a built-in desk. I'm thinking, oh, that's Adriana's room. And the one closet, they had literally cut a hole in the bottom of it, inserted a basket, and... You would throw your clothes in there downstairs. It's a laundry chute. I mean, everything is perfect, but... And it's nine seventy five a month. And I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, maybe it would save me about $500 a month. But here in Indy, gas is um, pretty much high. Not 
the gas for your car, but the gas for your house is a little higher than electric. So I'm like, damn it. So I don't know. Um, William, my stepdad, he's all for it. I'm all for it. I know if the kids seen it, they'd love it. The lot is huge, and some I guess you'd say an acre of land, trees, everything's perfect, but no. The master bedroom. If it had a master bedroom, they'd have my mom sewed. Um, obviously, you know, me being me, I would go in. I'm, sorry, I'm all over the place. I would go in and change the bedroom carpets. Um, just GP, that's, I don't know, just kind of that OCD kind of thing. And I told the lady, and she said that would be fine. Huge picture window in the front. Literally, it goes to the front of the house to, to the corner, and then from the corner down the whole, basically half of the front room would be, it's like big picture window. Perfect. But the master bedroom, there isn't one. Um, I tell my mom, I said, well, I could put you in the basement and buy you some wardrobes and, you know, put them down there. No, I'm not living in no basement. And I told her, I said, you know, we wouldn't even walk. I said, I really wouldn't use the basement upstairs. I said, I'd just walk out the kitchen and walk around, you know, walk down the drive and walk to the back of the house and go in the door that way. But, um, you know, it's just all these things are running through my head. So, searching again today, and there's a house that we need to look at on Saturday. But, anyway, I've talked enough. I'm sorry about these long videos, you guys. Um, I got my walking in, of course it wanted to keep raining off and on yesterday, um, there's something else I want to tell you, didn't get to walk and go to the park and everything with Jameson, the Dollar Tree and stuff, um, my sister, he went and stayed all night with my sister, so, I don't know if he's coming home today, I think that's what was wrong with me yesterday, I went to bed early and stuff, because, Every night here lately, me and him has been waiting up, waiting up and or staying up, and watching Fairy Odd Parents and just kind of chilling or whatever. But um, I don't know. I guess I was kind of missing my little buddy. Mom said, "You're going to bed." I said, "Yeah, I'm going to bed." <laughs> so, but anywho, little y'all have a great day. Um, I'm gonna go today, hopefully, and go and get weighed in, um, pay the clinic their money. But, um, other than that, when I weigh in, I'll make a little video and post it. So, I'll highlight y'all later, okay? Bye.